Hi guys, I'm CL Creech, and this is my vlog series where I take a look at my past to help figure out my future. Welcome to Rediscovering Me. What's up guys, I'm back for episode, I think this is four, of my vlog series, Rediscovering Me. So I thought this time, it's just kind of... So fairly early in the morning, I figure I'd take you guys out for a tour of my hometown. And hit a few places that, uh, well, I'll show you where I grew up, essentially. Uh, we're starting out here in New York section. I'm not really going to tour it. That's just a whole different thing for another day. I'm just going to hit some highlights. Uh, over here on the left, you guys can see the football field. It used to be the Cumberland High School football field. Yeah, that's the Cumberland Elementary football field. They got a lot of stories there. We'll do that in a blog post for another day. This is what was originally Cumberland Elementary School. Then it became Cumberland Middle School, and now that's shut down, and it is um, a ministry, I think, Club 180 Ministry. Actually, went kindergarten through third grade here, went fourth grade at the new elementary school, which I'll point out, and then uh, fifth grade through eighth grade. Um, over here, and I'll do a quick run up on it. I don't want to linger over there because, again, um, more details for another day. And I'll run you over here to the high school. Uh, here on the left, you'll see what is now, I think, a little marathon, maybe? I'm not really sure. Growing up, it was Cumberland Shell. We would sneak down from the uh, high school on our lunch, come over here to get potato wedges, cheese sticks, things like that. Um, food down here now is okay, but it used to be awesome. This used to actually be the high school's tennis courts and uh, things. They built a nice little playground out of it, a real good community area. Um, don't really want to go into too much detail because again, this is going to be more for another day. You can see what's going to happen to the old high school. Um, it's really heartbreaking. You know, this is a place I spent a lot of my life. Um, my grandmother worked in the cafeteria of the high school until, uh, until midway through my sophomore year of high school. Um, so I was going to and from that school pretty well my entire life. And then they closed it down, I think it was, what was it, 06 or 08? 08, I believe. I merged it with two other county high schools and it just, just the sign of the times in Eastern Kentucky. Um, we're gonna ride down through town. After we stop at the red light for a minute. Uh, you'll notice this is a small town. It's an impoverished area. A lot of what I grew up, a lot of what I'm gonna talk about is pretty well, uh, pretty well gone now. You know, I mean, some of the best stuff from being a kid um, no longer exists in this town. Uh, I'll change here in just a second. Alright. Down here on the left, you'll see a church where um, my wife uh, crashed a vehicle into it during a uh, during a wake. At one of these poles out front. So, <laughs> again, that's a longer story. I, uh, we'll, we'll talk about another day because this is just a quick run through. Um, this used to be an old arcade and a pet shop right here. Um, actually, almost got bit by an anaconda there. This used to be a baseball card shop where my dad worked when I was growing up. Um, you'll see City Hall there. Nothing good ever actually comes out of that place. Um, our little local library. Just kind of a Cumberland staple. Um, notice a lot of businesses that are fighting to stay away or trying to stay above water. Um, it's hard in this community, it really is. Um, let's go down this way. Remember that used to be a flower shop at one point. They actually used to um, 
sponsor our Cub Scout troop when I was in second, third, fourth grade. Uh, where this little bitty park thing is right here, um, there used to be a barber shop that's set here where these little benches are. Uh, it was called Rex's Barber Shop. That's where I got my hair cut growing up. Uh, Clyde Disney owned it. And then there was actually another barber shop, I believe it was right here. Um, that was Joe's. Um, this used to be a popular club and pizza place. This used to be a gas station, and then they tore it down and put up a gas station, which still makes no sense to me to this day. Um, I mean, it was literally one of the full service, you know, they changed your tires and everything, then they tore it down and just put up a convenience store. Um, to the left, we'll do another day as that goes up toward the park. Um, we'll make an entire vlog about that. Again, this is just hitting the highlights, and then some of these we'll go back and hit more in depth on certain days. Um, there used to be stores all along here until they got tore down for the quote unquote flood wall wall project. Um, which essentially just means they're extending the river. Um, let's see. Um, of course, liquor store. You live in this town, you pretty well have to have it. Uh, this, uh, up until about two, three weeks ago, was the old Rexall building. I my first WWF action figures there. Um, institution, they tore down this gas station really quick. Used to be where uh, Tasty Freeze, which was a local uh, restaurant, used to be. Of course, local Pizza Hut, popular among the kids. But uh, with Tasty Freeze, it was like one of the most popular local restaurants. They tore it down and put up a gas station. It's been set empty for a couple of years, but uh, anybody from Cumberland will remember the Tasty Freeze. Built furniture, pretty well our only furniture store. Uh, police station, if you end up having to go in there, you don't want to be there. Speedway used to be Super America growing up. I worked there for eh, three years. Um, if you want to talk slave labor, that's pretty well as close as they could do legally. Uh, one of the nicer looking buildings, our bank. Hardy is pretty well the only fast food drive through you'll find in town. Uh, the two dollar stores. The cheapest places to get food are groceries besides Food City because Food City is here is expensive. The old Cumberland Motel was actually one of my relatives, I believe, like a distant cousin that owned it. Used to be gorgeous back in the day and it's pretty well set empty for 15, 20 years now. This used to actually be a car lot next to it, and it turned into a dairy hut, a little local restaurant. Uh, Paris Liquor, uh, friends of our family for years. Uh, on the right, you'll see the old elementary school with their sheriff sitting there, so we'll skip past it. Uh, the Nurse Friday. Baseball fields where I grew up playing Little League. Uh, 
changed a lot since I was a kid, but uh, during the spring and early summer, the places stay busy. Uh, again, that's an, another vlog for another day. Um, you know what I'm doing? You know, one thing about doing this drive through is this is giving me some ideas of places that we can stop, kind of go in depth for later episodes. friends in these houses. This has been on the old coal mining camp. Uh, and we'll go through the ledge as well here. Uh, this used to be a joy service station, a little gas station. It used to be the cheapest gas in town for many, many years. On cheapest gas in the Tri-City area. a little slower through here than what I normally would just so I do have time to point some of these things out to you guys. Uh, on the left out here you'll see Coal Miners Memorial Park. Uh, again, a vlog for another day. On the right you'll see tennis courts as well as Schoolhouse Inn. Uh, Benham City Hall right here is the Coal Mining Museum. Uh, again, all vlogs for another day. The schoolhouse is actually neat because it used to be the um, dental uh, elementary school and they turned it into this nice little uh, hotel. Really neat. I'd love to get some footage in there one day. Um, they have a great restaurant from what I've been told. I haven't ate in there in years. Just cause it was a little on the expensive side, but a um, guy went to high school with Travis Morris is running it. And from what I understand, he's just uh, he's done phenomenal with the place. Uh, just unfortunately, my busy schedule, I don't really have time to go in there like I'd like. Uh, you know, once I end up moving out of the area, if I come back to visit, that's definitely where I'm going to stay. Uh, you can't really see it from the road, but they're here, one of the larger coal mines. It's right over here on, on the right. I believe that one's shut down now, but they used to have a ton of equipment through there. Uh, very neat. So a lot of the houses are kind of falling in here. Uh, just signs of the area. You know? uh, a lot of people moved out of the area. The people who are staying are essentially too poor to move out of the area. But we're actually in Lynch now, which is like the third of the Tri-Cities. Um, we got a little park over here. Uh, another little park for the kids. Uh, back there you'll see another little park. We used to practice baseball there when I was a kid. Right up here on the left in this bigger building is the Lynch Social Club. It's a um, back in the 70s they used to have like professional wrestling matches in there. Um, some of the bigger wrestlers in the world would actually come through Lynch Social Club. Um, I know Wahoo McDaniel's been through here, uh, the Dahlia's. Um, I think somebody said Mr. Fuji had visited once, which Mr. Fuji's from Knoxville. Um, just a lot of big name guys that you wouldn't expect come into an area like this. Which even at the high school we had a lot of places like that. There are a lot of big names come in uh, in the old Smoky Mountain days. Uh, Community Christian Center doing a lot of work. Hey, FedEx truck. I always got to point those out. <laughs> um, again, uh, just a beautiful place. It's just, it needs some help. Really does. I mean, Cumberland Building Lynch, the Tri City area, it's going downhill bad. I mean, uh, the New York Times called Eastern Kentucky the most impoverished area in the nation. Um, and you can see why. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful area. I mean, 
if y'all notice some of the scenery we have. I mean, it, it's hard to top the scenery, but it's, we just need someone to come in and help us with the road and help build the area back up. Um, this area is based around coal mining. Coal mining is going downhill. Uh, and there's really not a lot we can do. Uh, you notice up here is an old coal temple where they used to run coal across the road. Uh, you can see where the old belt line used to be. Uh, maybe that's something I'll do one day, take you up and show you some of the mines and see how long people out of the area might find this interesting. Around here, you know, we're so used to seeing it. Um, over in this area too, again, this is all old coal mining buildings. Uh, there's a sewage plant over here for the city of Benham. Uh, on the left, one of the more popular attractions in the area, which is the Pool 31 Underground Tour, where you actually get to go into an old coal mine. So that is uh, really neat. Especially if you've never been in a mine. Which most of the people in this area have at least been somewhat into a mine. Um, old Lynch City Hall, or this is Lynch City Hall. Yeah. Uh, up here, you can't really see it, but up on the hills, the Old Lynch Clinic. Oh! Uh, I'm not sure what this building used to be, actually. I think it used to be a school? No, the school's up here. Oh. I'm not sure what that was. Um, I think that was a mine office. Uh, if anybody's watching from the couple of middle and lynch area, correct me. Um, big little gas station. They used to have the best pizza in here. Um, not really sure now. I don't really stop up there very often anymore. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just a lot of history. Again, you know, these lynch, I think it was last year or the year before, celebrated their uh, centennial. So this over 100 years old. Uh, most of it built by coal mining companies, coal miners, or families. Uh, it was built on the heart and soul of coal mines. Uh, or on the backs of coal miners, I should say. Now, if here's the school, that's what you were thinking of. But, um, this is the old Lynch School. Um, it's pretty well falling down. There's stories you can look up online about how this is haunted. Um, there have been talks several times about uh, people buying it and uh, renovating it. It just never worked out. Uh, and it's heartbreaking. Again, you know, I mean, it's not just heartbreaking because of history, it's heartbreaking because such a gorgeous area and it's just falling apart. I mean you can see houses, I don't want to point out anybody's specifics house, but you can see houses through here that, you know, if people around here had enough money, you know, or had the jobs to make the money that they could give these houses a little TLC, which there are some gorgeous houses that still stand, that, but um, for the most part, you know, yeah. Uh, if they had the money to put a little TLC in this area, could easily build back up. Um, houses for sale everywhere. A lot of the ones that aren't for sale are just being abandoned. But anyway, we're getting right here to the foot of Black Mountain, which is the largest mountain in the state of Kentucky. I'm going to turn around and head back to Cumberland because I've got things to do in Cumberland this morning. You don't want to show uh, them? Huh? You don't want to show them one thing? What, one thing? The golf course? Mm -hmm. We can run into the golf course. The golf course is just a little bit of a ways up here. We can do that really quick. Um, I was going to end right here, but since Peg wants to do that, I, I'm going um, Sleepy Hollow Country Club, famous for the Lynch Invitational Tournament. It's a nine hole golf course. Um, but um, the Lynch Invitational Tournament is like a yearly weekend thing they do. Growing up, that was more of an excuse just to go up here and get drunk, so it was never really my big cup of tea. Uh, but, you know, um, around here there's not much else to do. Um, just a little ways up here, and we'll end up here. Okay, we are 
Zeus outside of the glitch, I guess. I always considered Sleepy Hollow to be part of the glitch, but technically I don't know if it is. I think it's actually just outside of the glitch city limits. You know, we may do a vlog one day where I just take you on the drive across like that. This is part of the country club over here on the left. And then on the right as well. It's a pretty small. Um, I don't know if it'll be open that we can drive up to it really quick, but you know what, we'll sort of sell try, just run over here and uh, and turn around and come back. You can see this is not really exactly what you call a big golf course. You can actually see the greens right here. Just gorgeous, look at the little river right here. A lot of people have parties and stuff run out the golf, or run out the country club. Um, there's a swimming pool up here, right here on the right. When I was a kid, we used to, uh, at the end of every little league season, we'd come up here and have parties. Uh, uh, and we'd always have a big pool party right there at the pool. Can we drive on up here? Yeah, you can get out right there. Oh, okay. Um, building right here, a lot of people rent that out. Really nice on the inside. Um, great place that if you just need to, uh, a place for like a family reunion or something. I know I've been to birthday parties up here as a kid. Um, Stuff. But anyway, that's got us through Sleepy Hollow uh, or Lynch Country Club. Oh wait, yeah, this is Lynch, Lynch Country, Country Club, Club and Sleepy, Sleepy Hollow. Hollow. One, huh? Lynch Country Club and Sleepy. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my latest video. If you like what you see, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell so you get the latest notifications of every time I post a new video. Also, check out the links below. There might be some interesting stuff. You want to see me live? Could be. You want to help support the channel and get new content? Could be. You never know. I'm updating it often. Probably more often than this video. Just go subscribe, like, now, and click the links.